welcome to today's segment of BHS 300. Today we will be talking about the lack of physical activity opportunities. While childhood obesity rates skyrocket, opportunities for students to be active decrease significantly. In today's society, kids are less active than ever. Nearly one-third of elementary schools do not schedule recess on a regular basis. In grades 9 through 12, only about half of students have one or more physical education classes during the school week. And almost one in four children do not participate in any free time physical activity. The sad truth has many shocking repercussions in addition to obesity. But first, we will go into causative factors of this issue. Our grandparents lived in an era in which innovations were luxuries, not everyday rituals. These exact commodities may be a cause of the lack of physical activity opportunities throughout America. We drive cars, so we walk less. Vacuum cleaners make cleaning easy, and washing is done by a machine. It doesn't help that easy access, modern, high energy foods make us put on too much weight, or that in the West at least, food has never been cheaper or easier to buy. Although technological advances and conveniences have made our lives easier and less active, it doesn't end there. Many personal variables, including physiological, behaviorals, and psychological factors affect young adults' participation in physical activity. I've never done it. I wasn't good at sports at school. I would feel silly. Other people would make fun of me. It won't help unless it hurts. No pain, no gain. It's sweaty and uncomfortable. I'm too tired. I'd rather do something else. It's expensive. I think it'll make me feel worse. I don't have anyone to do it with. I don't know where, when, or how to start. Next, we will touch upon the impacts lack of physical activity can have. This absence of physical activity options is a matter with much deeper rooted outcomes than what meets the eye. Though a frighteningly real and present concern, obesity is merely one of multiple effects this issue entails. Among children aged 2 to 19, about 1 in 3 are overweight and obese. Likewise, lack of physical activity is linked to numerous health risks including chronic disease and quality of overall health. One who is inactive is at much higher risk of developing heart disease, type 2 diabetes, breast cancer, and colon cancer. Mental and social aspects of physical activity. Without physical activity, the release of endorphins, adrenaline, serotonin, and dopamine through cardiovascular and aerobic exercises, which affects aspects of a healthy mind, are limited. Also, physical activity such as yoga has been shown in studies to reduce tension and stress while improving mood. In short, physical activity decreases chances of depression as well as treats it. Furthermore, improved confidence, memory, emotional stability, perception, and self-esteem are all benefits of physical activity. If you still don't think this is something of concern to all of us, lack of exercises causes as many as 1 in 10 premature deaths around the world each year, roughly as many as smoking. 4 out of 5 teens are exercising to meet the current standards of 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week. And despite the deadly effects of lack of exercise, Physical activity doesn't get the same attention or funding as the other risk factors. This exact devaluation of the problem is what makes it so substantial, a semi but ever so imminent killer. Answers? Answers. 1. Using signs to motivate people to use the stairs instead of the elevator or escalator, for instance. 2. Offering free physical activity sessions in public places such as parks, especially geared toward women, lower income folk, and the elderly, groups who are less likely to get the recommended amounts of exercise. 3. Reforming a program in which city streets are closed to motorized vehicles, leaving roadways open for walkers, runners, skaters, and bikers. 4. Allotting funding in schools for not only physical activity courses, but for health teaching as well in order to create habits of a healthy lifestyle for students and help maintain it. Five, 
increasing funding for intramural programs in schools, especially high schools. Finally, remember change begins one step at a time. Make yours today.